Hello everyone. Today we have uh, Ritya Saha with us. She has secured all India rank of uh, 566 in civil services uh, with the anthropology as the optional. In the Indian Forest Service, she secured uh, all India rank of 125. That anthropology part was already covered by respective faculty. In this session, we were going to see only about the Indian Forest Service. In the Indian Forest Service, uh, she has chosen optional one as uh, we have to choose actually. two optional in the indian forest service she has uh, chosen first optional as agriculture and the second optional as the geology so welcome you rimita welcome you so you. regarding the introduction she has uh, studied uh, she has studied her engineering in electrical engineering at uh, nit durgapur she also studied her mtech i think it was in uh, power system from the yes, from sir. the indian institute of uh, technology delhi Yes, so ma'am. so the first and foremost question that i want to ask you is ramita why did you choose uh, this combination like agriculture and geology combination what what, uh, what incentivized you to choose the option this two option sir uh, first was sir agriculture uh, i chose because uh, agriculture in the paper one as i went through the uh, previous questions so i found that agriculture one questions are uh, quite a bit similar to the gs3 paper that we study in uh, cse civil service exam uh, mains so therefore okay. i thought it will be easier for me to uh, uh, write or study in during the two months gap that i'll uh, get after civil services Okay. so that is one the one of the reasons that i took agriculture and then after that uh, the second option i took as geology geology i took sir one because uh, this was the one of the best options that i could have taken after what was uh, left after i took agriculture so therefore i took ge geology and as as well as i i had consulted with few friends and they had also taken geology in their last few attempts So therefore, I thought that I'll get uh, resources, uh, quite a amount of resources for the geology part. Therefore, I went for geology and agriculture. Okay, okay. So, what are the area that overlaps uh, with the GS three? So the first thing that is overlapping mainly in the paper one part, there are many overlapping topics. For example, so cropping patterns. Uh, then weed management, forest management, then uh, irrigation techniques. so these are the few topics that i thought that was quite overlapping between gs3 and agriculture paper 1 ramita how long did you study uh, actually per day if there is 24 hours how long did you study because uh, actually i have seen you have uh, taken three different optionals in civil services yes, you have sir. taken anthropology as the optional and in indian forest service you have taken uh, different completely different options so how long did you study for uh, optional and what was the sharing of time between the gs and the optional Sir, given I had already written the GS part uh, in uh, October, uh, yeah. September, which was the time for civil services. So after that, I had two months to prepare for civil uh, service means, and so two months I mostly almost the ninety nine percent of the time I devoted to the option because GS was already prepared and the questions that I had seen in uh, forest service means uh, general study is uh, was uh, I I thought they were. Easier than the civil service means. So therefore, I thought that I ask if I give around five to seven days at the end of the uh, at the end of the period of the uh, exam preparation. That is the two months. So the two months, if I give around five to seven days, I can cover the GS part well. So the okay. rest of the time I had given to optional. Okay. Okay. And sir, uh, starting what I did was in uh, geology, I agriculture both I focused on previous year questions. Okay. So, sir, previous year questions were the main uh, main things that I uh, prepared from. So, okay. agriculture uh, PYQs uh, were given by Aram IAS, and okay. geology also, sir, I got few PYQs from Aram IAS as well as from other resources. And then for geology, I used to divide my day into two parts. The okay. morning part I used to study geology, and the evening part I used to study agriculture. So and my main focus was to solve the PYQs because I knew that, sir, in two months only PYQs can be covered. If I want to go into detail of every topic, it will be difficult for me to cover the entire syllabus within the allotted time. So what I did was I focused on the PYQs and I thought the PYQs covered almost all the topics broadly. So okay. I uh, took every day I took some topics. I referred the PYQs first and then I referred some topics notes or I googled the topics, okay. and I made some notes for geology. Sir, I made some notes, few short notes which I can revise later. 
answer for agriculture pyqs were given by you also and uh, some notes were also given by you and you said that this much to this much you can study you also took few classes uh, for me with, on the topics that i found very difficult to understand especially in paper 2 yeah. so there you conducted few classes for me that were very helpful for me to understand the topic very easily so this is the way i uh, divided my time for both optional and gs and completed the syllabus somehow okay okay imta is there any interview questions that they have asked related to agriculture can you remember some uh, interview questions which was related to agriculture Yes, sir. They asked me about the cropping pattern around my area. This was one thing that they asked, and also yeah. the irrigation technology that uh, generally is being uh, developed. Uh, there is. They asked me about some model of uh, water conservation that yeah. is being used in my locality since many uh, years. So that is one thing I could not answer, but that was one question. Cropping pattern they asked. and uh, also sir few uh, important trees and all that are there that generally in our locality so mainly sir they combined agriculture the topics oh. of agriculture and they combined the places that were there in my dac and then uh, asked me questions okay rimta okay. actually is there any mistake that you have committed in the past if if god has given you a chance to rectify those mistakes you kindly mention those mistakes and uh, you just uh, suggest the future aspirants to not commit those mistakes is there any mistake that you have committed during your preparation especially with respect to mains preparation sir one is uh, one mistake that i had uh, done in my several previous uh, attempts were was a lack of planning and the strategy to choose the proper option planning how to strategize my uh, uh, like days ahead and also the scheduling every day and uh, like dedicating every day to sim simple topics that i can cover in the day and also limiting my plans for each day i did not over plan uh, because when, when i did over planning i used to not complete not be able to complete it so and then that would uh, leave me upset so what i did was i used to have very small targets for each day and once i covered it i felt very satisfied that i did it what i had planned so this is one thing sir uh, trying to understand realistically what our limits are and then scheduling our day according to that and also having faith in us ourselves that is another thing that is very important in this processor uh, we when one attempt and another attempt each attempt goes by we tend to lose faith in ourselves so that is one thing that we have to stick to and again sir uh, i have to cho choose the optionals well we have to and one other uh, thing that i missed in my last attempts were uh, lack of answer writing that was there in my preparation so this time i prepared answers well i could not do that for sir forest means but i wish i could have done that so that i could have get gotten more marks in the optional part yeah. uh, gs part uh, i had scored uh, decent marks because of the preparation that i had done in my civil services so that is it okay okay remita actually in the next month i i uh... after two weeks many students were going to appear for the prelims is there any yes, advice is there any last few words that you want to give to those students sir uh, one is uh, prelims i uh, in my humble opinion sir prelims is no more the test of knowledge only it is also how we implement our knowledge so uh, we have for and to implement the knowledge we need to have very calm mind so when we have a very calm mind and we can, only then we can use our common sense we can trust our intuitions so therefore we have when during the prelims exam we cannot uh, have anxiety we have to be very calm and for that whatever helps us be it meditation be it talking to any friends or family uh, which whichever calms us down we should do that second thing is sir uh, trusting our intuitions again because when something clicks in our mind during the exam hall it is because we have read it somewhere maybe we uh, would not remember the source from where we have read but if we are kind of our intuition is telling that this is the answer then we should trust it somewhere third is sir uh, for the la last few um, days that we are that are left oh, we should not re uh, read new topics again because many students that i have seen including me in the past what we used to do is whenever we saw few uh, topics somewhere few notes somewhere we used to always feel that we are missing out from the race if we are not revising that topic or reading that topic so that is not what is required we should we should not uh, go chase more new topics right now what we have studied till now that is uh, only the things that we need to revise right now so revise multiple times whatever we have studied have a very calm mind 
this is not a do or die situation. This is just an exam, and we have to give our hundred percent to the exam. This is it. What we should go with, uh, go with into the exam hall. Okay, okay, Ramita. That's the like, advice. That's the advice that you want to give to future aspirants. Okay, okay, Ramita. Thank you. Thank you so much uh, for joining with us. So really, really, you deserve the success. Your words and your advice will be highly helpful to the students and for their upcoming journey. And okay. from on behalf of Arama AS Academy, I thank you once again, and my best wishes to you in the upcoming journey. Thank you, Ramita. Thank you. So, uh, and sir, to this journey, the uh, most important parts that have been played are by you, sir, and Arama AS. I will express my gratitude to you as well as Academy. Because in every situation, whenever I needed some help, I got more than I required. So this is one thing that I will always uh, be uh, thankful for, and that is what I wanted to. Okay, okay, Ramita. Thank you, Ramita. Thank you once again. Thank you so much for joining with us. I think your schedule was also very tight, so I was so happy that you got got into the service panel. So always do something to the society. My best wishes to you and to your family also. Thank you. Thank you, Zanita. Thank you for joining with us. Thank you.